Do, are you familiar with the the tiny dose situation? Yep. All right. So, for people that might not know, man, back in 2014, uh, Tiny Doe was arrested for murder with a one million dollar bail, and he didn't even had they, the police didn't even accuse him of actually killing anybody, but they had him connected with night shootings without any evidence of it and. The cops even told him at one point they knew he didn't do it, but they were going to arrest him anyway. And from what I understand, it was because he was documented, but he wasn't really a gang member. And um, I guess under some bullshit ass law, it's a felony to benefit from any gang activity. And he was selling CDs out of his car. And so because of that, they were able to charge him under this law. Can you talk about that a little bit? My city, my city, we done had a lot of blows that done kept us from being able to be successful successful in this music shit. And, um, San Diego don't be fucking with the urban shit, homie. You know what I mean? Not even like, it's so it's so evident, man. It's not it's like they not even doing it to be fucked up. It's like they don't even know how fucked up they doing us. This is so much a part of the fabric of our city to not fuck with the urban shit to where they don't even know they being fucked up by how they be shutting us down with everything. Anytime a new gang law come out in California, homie, San Diego try that shit out first. That ain't the first time they tried the shit. That ain't even the second time they tried the shit. They did it with the gang injunction. Gang injunction is a fucking law, a California gang ordinance that says even though you haven't been convicted of no crimes, even though you ain't been arrested or nothing like that, just off of hearsay, they could put you on this list that puts you basically like on this probation type shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Shit like, like I don't even, I, I, all they do is walk to some old lady's front door show her this book of this shit this thick and say, here go this crime record of all these bad kids in the neighborhood. Will you sign this to keep them from hanging it? Because I know you don't want them around here and you don't want them hanging and whatever, whatever. Sign this for us. The old lady signed this shit. It only take 24 signatures to get you on this list. This list is a list that says you can no longer hang in these areas with people from your neighborhood. Shit as little as can't have water guns or pit bulls or I can't flag nobody down on the side of the street or no shit like that. All these are violations that could get you sitting in jail. Now, each time you go, the time gets longer and longer, a week or two weeks or whatever. But it's a lot of homies that did a lot of time behind this gang injunction shit. And and that was a law that was made. And the only law, only gang that they put on it before us was the 18th Street Gang. That's the biggest gang in California. That's the biggest gang in the world. They went from 18th Street and then came to my house. You feel me? Like San Diego fucked up like that. So this was another law that they did in that case where, where what they basically said was because you are a documented gang member, um, you're using the celebrity of, your, of the neighborhood and the shit that the, that the gang members are doing to profit off of your music. Now, they won the case and it didn't work. But shit, man, they've been doing that shit to us for years, man. We just basically start having, um, you know, um, representation to fight back on that shit now. Homies was just getting railroaded for years, but now niggas really getting lawyers and shit and fighting back. So, yeah, man, that's my city. You would mentioned there was a couple other cases similar to this one. Did they beat the case, too? No. So there's, there's people you know that are in jail for a long amount of time and didn't even commit a crime? Not didn't commit a crime, but got enhanced sentences and shit like that based upon them being in the organized crime, in organized crime gangs. When anybody in Southern California or any motherfucking where know, Crips and Bloods ain't organized, you feel me? But then you will do a little bullshit crime and then they'll smack you over the head with the same time they smacked John Gotti with or some shit like that. They found a way to make gang banging organized crime, even though it ain't organized crime. What did you think when you heard about Tiny Doe facing life in prison over I, some lyrics? I already knew, and that's part of the reason why I say my city has had a lot of things that get in the way 
of us not being as successful because a lot of the shit that we do as 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 artists and gangster artists we couldn't you know we we want to do them being a san diego artist but we can't get away with that shit you know it's shit that i see motherfuckers all over the country do atlanta chicago all that shit guns all in the video and that shit kids is fucking fascinated by that shit that's part of the reason why these records and shit be selling because they able to put on the whole act of the gangster shit where 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 i'm from in southern california you do that shit you has to be in jail you know what i'm saying and they'll be trying to stick you with the same shit they were trying to stick him with you know what i mean but did you get put on a gang injunction at any time yeah i was the first person on gang injunction from your hood yeah from san diego from san diego yeah why'd they come after you first because you just because you're mitchy slick no i wasn't no rapper when they put me on the list Oh, okay. That's before the rap shit. Way so, before the rap shit. So this was just your your street, yeah, street reputation. Shit. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Tiny Doe man, he spent seven months in jail, and and finally after seven months, the judge disagreed with the use of the gang law, and dismissed the charges against him. And he actually just recently uh, won a settlement for mm-hmm. one point five million from him. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I guess. Uh, you know, that worked out in his favor, I guess. First time ever. You know, I in mean. 40 years of, of, of our neighborhood, that's the first time I ever heard of some shit working out in the favor of a homie. I mean, I mean, by the judgment of the, of the you know, like that, 